What is it that makes plants grow? Sunshine, water, carbon dioxide, and oxygen all play a role in plant growth. These elements are certainly important for the survival of plants, but without soil, plants could not survive on land. Soil provides physical support for plants, pore spaces for holding water, a dynamic environment for essential microbes and soil animals, and a reservoir of essential elements known as plant nutrients. These nutrients can be concentrated and applied to the soil as fertilizers, the agents which improve soil fertility. In this four-part program, we'll show the many relationships that exist between soils, plants, and the essential plant nutrients found in soils and fertilizers. A shortage of calcium can also appear as a blossom end rot found on tomatoes poor flowering and poor root growth. As mentioned earlier, magnesium is a central element of the chlorophyll molecule and is responsible for the initial absorption of light energy within leaf tissues. In addition, magnesium is essential to the very formation of this photosynthetic pigment. A lack of magnesium usually shows up as intervenal chlorosis on older plant tissues. But unlike nitrogen deficiency, this chlorosis is found in combination with a low soil pH. Sulfur is an important constituent of some proteins which are needed by plants. Although sulfur is not part of the chlorophyll molecule, it is thought to be important in the formation of chlorophyll. This may be why sulfur deficiency symptoms are similar to those of nitrogen. Sulfur deficiency is expressed as chlorosis, but unlike nitrogen deficiency, this chlorosis is found on young plant tissues. The plant essential micronutrients play similar roles as catalysts and regulators of important chemical reactions within plants. Catalysts are not consumed during chemical reactions, which is part of the reason why micronutrients are needed in such small quantities. Intervenal chlorosis in combination with high soil pH levels often indicates a deficiency in one or more of the metal micronutrients. In this case, iron, manganese, copper, or zinc may be unavailable to the plant. Now that we're familiar with the basic nutrient deficiencies, let's look at how that knowledge can be used in diagnosing a variety of plant symptoms.